This is Kemi Oshukoya reporting for the Africa Bazaar magazine. The COVID-19 pandemic and the inequitable access to vaccines have shown developing nations the economic imperative of investing in effective national health systems. As African nations await the deliveries of COVID-19 vaccine, President of Rwanda, Pokagame, uses remarks at the African Union Summit on Saturday to urge his fellow head of state to step up their commitment to build strong national health systems across the African continent and improve health outcome for the population by investing in domestic health systems. Without strong national health systems in every country, our continent will remain vulnerable to pandemic, he said in his remarks. He proposed using the World Health Organization scorecard to rank countries on their health financing commitments and creating a regional platform to support African Union member states. Excellencies, I would like to take this opportunity to emphasize the importance of our domestic health financing agenda, particularly in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Without strong national health systems in every country, our continent will remain vulnerable to pandemics. We need to strengthen our commitment to increase domestic resource mobilization and improve health outcomes. I also urge the strengthening of African CDC to allow its autonomy and effectiveness. I therefore wish to propose two items for the Assembly's consideration to accelerate the implementation of this mandate. First, the presentation of the data in annual scorecard should be updated to rank countries according to the WHO Service Coverage Index rather than exclusively in terms of per capita spending. This adjustment will more accurately benchmark the efficiency of health spending across different contexts while also tracking progress towards universal health coverage. Second, I recommend that AUDA NEPAD be assigned the responsibility for working with partners to create regional platforms to support member states in increasing health financing. Allow me to close with a word of appreciation for the exceptional leadership of our outgoing chairperson, President Sri Ramaphosa, during this uniquely challenging year. I congratulate our new chairperson, President Felix Chisekedi, and wish him every success during his tenure leading our organization. We also stand ready to provide whatever support to him that we can and that is needed. I thank you for your kind attention, Mr. Chairman.